Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steve, and this is going to be a super, super, super short video, like two minutes. Uh, we'll see, because it'll turn into 15 the way I talk. But, uh, so I'm still working on this teapot. There is the teapot. Um, so I threw a round form originally, uh, and then I had a bowl that I trimmed through the bottom of the bowl by accident. So I attached that to the top of the body here, creating the form. I'm going to round it out a little bit more with some um, with some tools so it's a little bit more smooth. I inadvertently trimmed through a spot over here. So I used very thick slip uh, and kind of um, fixed it up a little bit. And I used a coil on the inside as well to sort of shore up that. Uh, my favorite part of the teapot is the handle. Isn't that a great handle? Uh, so what I did to create this handle, rather than make a coil or use an extruder, what I did, you may have heard me talk about this in the past, but um, this is called a bat, this round piece that goes on top of a pottery wheel. I threw a form very much like this. This piece is too dry. But I opened up all the way to the bottom of the bat. I pulled the clay over to make a round circle around the bat. This piece was too thin and too tall, so I didn't use it, and now it's all dried out. But So I created that sort of round loop, and then I let it come to leather hard. I cut the length I needed, and then I attached it at the two points here. And then I let this all come to the same um, moisture level so I could uh, it would not crack, and I think I've successfully done that. No cracking yet. And then I used a sure a sure form tool, which is a woodworking tool. This is by Stanley. To carve away at the edges, the squared off edges of the handle, because this was very um, angular. And then to fine tune that, this is a, a carving tool. See that bent tip? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, I use the other end right here, and I used it to scrape along the edges, and I found that to be a much more effective tool in making the handle kind of rounded to fit the hand really nicely. So I'm really, really happy with this handle. Um, this is similar to the handle I threw um, on a pot years and years and years ago. I finally glazed recently, but so that is my pot so far. Um, I did make a lid. This is the lid, and I wanted it to echo. I'll soften up those hard edges right there too. Um, but I wanted it to echo the handle. Oh, let me see if I can put this on, one sec. All right, so that's with the, the little lid on. The lid's not the best fitting lid, but it's a lid. Um, I'm gonna soften up the edges of this little um, lid handle as well to kind of echo the form on this a little bit more. But that's my teapot so far. What do you think? I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm going to sand it down and make it all nice and smooth and then we'll see what happens with it. But uh, there you go. What are your thoughts?